Aloha mai kako. Welcome to this brief introduction to planting by the Hawaiian moon phase. For centuries, farmers around the world have realized the correlation between the moon phases and natural rhythms that influence plants and the successful seed germination. Hawaiian farmers, or mahi'ai, were no exception and excelled at determining the effects of the lunar cycles on plant germination, growth, and harvest timing. In this video, we will review the lunar cycle within the traditional Hawaiian calendar and examine the characteristics of each of the moon phases. At the end of this video, you will find resources to conduct your own lunar observations to learn more about the phases of the moon and their impacts on living organisms. We encourage volunteers that have signed up to grow native plants for West Maui restoration projects to plant their seeds on moon phases that are optimum for planting, such as during the full moon, and to track the success of their seeds using the resources we provided. Kaulana Mahina is the Hawaiian system for tracking the moon and is used to understand the different moon phases and their correlations to natural events and phenomena. Then, this information can be used to determine the best time to conduct certain activities. A traditional Hawaiian month is equal to one lunar cycle, which includes 29 and a half to 30 moon phases. Each month is then broken into three 10-day weeks called Anahulu. The first Anahulu is Ho'onui, which means growing bigger, and includes moon phases from Hilo to Olepo. The second Anahulu is Poi Poi, which means round. This is the week in which you will find the full moon and contains moon phases from Huna to Laoku Po. The third and final Anahulu is called Hoemi which means decreasing and includes the moon phases from Oleku Kahi to Muku. It is important to note that some calendars have different numbers of moon phases and different names for each phase. Each month's name correlates to different weather conditions, effects of the lunar cycle, or constellations. The names of the months could also vary between islands and predictions were often made for very specific areas. This traditional knowledge could also be used not only for agricultural, but also fisheries management and integrates well with the scientific method. Kaulana Mahina was used to understand the natural rhythm of organisms, set kapu periods, choose planting times for different plant species, when these plants will seed, and when those seeds will germinate understand when to harvest natural resources both in the ocean and on the land, and determine cycles of population fluctuation, spawning, recruitment, and movement patterns. This is an example of a chart that was made using the Hawaiian moon calendar and when traditional management was applied to different fishery species. By learning our moon phases, we too can create valuable management tools like this. Now let's review each of the anahulu. The first is Ho'onui, which is when the moon is growing bigger, and is from the new moon to Olepo moon. The dark phases of the moon are not the best for planting. However, the Ku nights are good and things will grow upright. The Ole nights, Ole meaning without, are not productive and should be avoided. During the second Anahulu, Poi Poi, is when we find the full moon nights. Traditionally in Hawaii, there are a few full moon nights, most of these moon phases are good for planting, especially those around the full moon or Mahealani. The only moon to watch out for is the first, during the Lao moons, Laoku Kahi. This isn't the best day for planting and should be avoided. The third and final Anahulu is Ho'emi, which is decreasing or waning. Again, we have a series of Ole nights, which are not good for planting. However, some of the resources say a few of these nights are okay. The Kaloa nights are also good or bad depending on the resource. 
Lono is a great moon for planting, as are the Mauli and Muku moons. So, to summarize, we want to avoid planting on the dark moons, the Ole moons, Laoku Kahi, and the Kane moon. The best moon phases for planting are the Ku nights, Huna and Mohalu, the full moon nights from Hua to Mahealani, most of the Laau nights and Kalua nights, Lono, Mauli, and Muku moons. All of these moons are great for planting. If we follow these guidelines, hopefully our plants will be successful. This is a lot of information, but don't worry. There are lots of resources online. You can log on to the Kamehameha School's moon calendar and figure out the best moon phase for planting. Tracking moon phases throughout the year will give you a better idea of how they impact natural phenomena and when you should grow the different plants you want to for your home and community. There are many resources online, from things you can make yourself to moon calendars you can buy online to track moon phase observations with. Here are a few resources we found online. There are many more out there, and I highly recommend learning more about the moon phases. By utilizing this traditional knowledge, we will not only help perpetuate it, but learn from generations of Hawaiians. Mahalo nui loa from the Coral Reef Alliance.